Congressman Swalwell, uh, you must have some mixed feelings about this. Uh, Jim Jordan, uh, no longer serving as chair of Judiciary Committee, uh, has certain benefits uh, if he moves up to speaker. Uh, the investigations have certainly uh, been shut down, at least for now. But, but you know, we, we can laugh, Lawrence, uh, about it. It's, it's comical to see the position that they've put themselves in. In fact, for Americans at home, if they're wondering what's this like, well, it's like a school without a principal, a construction site without its superintendent, or a baseball team without its manager. It's rudderless. And you may not agree with the direction any speaker on their side would take us, but they at least set the agenda and, and bring certainty. And where we are right now is Republicans are an opposition party. They're not a governing party. And the moment demands more than they're able to offer. And so we can't just wait around for their chaos. We have too much to do. And so we are offering a bipartisan solution to get things up, to get things done uh, and reopen the Congress. What is the bipartisan solution? Well, it, as, as we gave the votes, the majority of the votes to uh, raise the debt ceiling and pay our bills, and we gave the majority of the votes to keep government open, uh, we stand ready to support any speaker that you know will keep government open in just under 30 days, who will keep Ukraine in the fight, who will look at you know uh, making sure Israel can defend itself, and that we can also help with the humanitarian crisis uh, that's in Gaza. There's a lot that we need to get done, and if that is a Republican, I, we are open-minded to you know supporting a Republican, but they have to come to us. And right now. Uh, they're just, you know, paralyzed uh, in chaos. So uh, the Jordan uh, team seems to be using threats. You have uh, one uh, member saying uh, she got a death threat after after her vote. Uh, and uh, Congressman uh, diaz Bellart said, uh, the one thing that will never work with me, if you try to pressure me, if you try to threaten me, then I shut off. So uh, they are... Uh, obviously uh, trafficking in, in threats on this, and the vote is just getting worse for Jim Jordan. It, the pressure campaign is not working. These members have shown themselves, at least so far, uh, to be courageous and to put the country over the chaos. And the question now, Lawrence, is, well, why don't you take the ultimate uh, leap and cross the Rubicon of solving this problem. And, and again, if you put up somebody reasonable, there's a lot of people on our side that would be perceived as reasonable, you'll have Democratic votes uh, to support you. And, and so uh, don't just keep repeating the crazy by going through this exercise and putting up insurrectionists. Put up, you know, a problem solver who's going to get things done and you'll have Democrats ready to support you. Uh, is there, would there be Democrat support for allowing the Speaker Pro Tem to have the powers to actually uh, bring legislation forward? Yeah, because we're a governing party. So, uh, yes, uh, again, we stand ready to support uh, Leader Jeffries to negotiate whatever it takes to allow us to show that we're competent, they're chaotic, we're going to govern, uh, they're in opposition. And so, yes, again, all of that is on the table. They just have to come to us, Lawrence, because we're a few votes short on our side uh, and, and we stand ready. And, and right now, what I fear is that although they know politically the right thing to do is to govern, uh, personally, many of them fear for their own safety because of these uh, death threats. And, and for a lot of them, they look at it, do I want to be Liz Cheney? Do I want to be Adam Kinzinger and have my life upended? And, and I know that's not comfortable from a guy that gets a lot of those death threats. But at the end of the day, you know, we've got a country to run uh, and a lot of people at home are counting on us, uh, you know, and these are the big leagues and it's time, you know, to make some big league decisions. Do they have any concern uh, for the traumatized people in Israel who just suffered this terrible uh, attack on October 7th, are still reeling from it and looking to the United States for help, including help from the Congress? So Republicans on Israel and, and Ukraine and Taiwan, they, they talk tough and they act soft. And, and so right now, if you are in Taiwan or if you are in Israel, you should really question whether they're going to have your back because they've walked away from Ukraine. They're in opposition to themselves. They cannot govern. They've failed to govern. Uh, and so that affects what's happening uh, in Israel right now. And by the way, Lawrence, what, what just happened in Israel after this crisis, they came together with a unity coalition government in response to the crisis, and, and that is the solution uh, here. And again, we stand ready uh, to do that.